Hello everybody, this is a screencast to show you how to reconfigure the network settings on your KNK Force. So one of our customers has a, a computer, her primary computer does not have a Wi-Fi adapter, but she has a tablet. Um, if you have a smartphone or any other device that has you know, some Wi-Fi built in, then you can use that to do these same operations just like I'm doing on my Mac. It's pretty much the same steps even though your screens might look a little bit different. So we're starting out um, by pulling the Wi-Fi adapter out of the USB port on the side of the machine and reinserting it after the lights have turned red. Once you've reinserted it, after a few seconds, the lights will turn green. And when those lights are green, if you look in your available Wi-Fi networks, you should see a network called K and K Force Recovery. And when you select that, um, sort of like when you're in a hotel or something and connect to the Wi-Fi, you'll get you know a window automatically opening, and that's what we want to see. And so, by default, it says standalone, and we want to connect it to our network. So we're going to put LAN. And to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network, you want to click Scan Networks, and it should bring up a list of all of the networks you can see. This one's my television. That's not the one we want. So this is the one we want. So I'll select that and then put in your password. You can't see it when you type so be very very careful because if you put in the wrong password it will not connect. For the time being we can leave both of these DHCP settings on and just say try these settings. And after we click that this window will display and the force is trying to establish a connection to your network right now. And this little message that says you may need to manually reconnect to the KNK Force Recovery Network, I've always seen that to be the case. So we're back on our normal network now. That happened automatically because the KNK Force rebooted. It no longer had a connection to the KNK Force Recovery Network, so it went back to my normal one. So I'm going to go and select the KNK Force Recovery Network again. And just like before, um, that window should pop up. It takes a few seconds. Uh, see, now it's gone because the force is rebooting. So in just uh, maybe like 20 or 30 seconds or so, it should come back up. And there we are. So let's click that. Here's our window. Now if, if you put in your password correctly to your Wi-Fi network, you should get a connection succeeded message. And this is the IP address that my router automatically assigned. So I'm going to select that and copy it. Save this settings to continue. And it says to reconnect to my regular Wi-Fi network and click the following link. So let's do that. So I'm back. And much like before, uh, you kind of have to wait a little bit. This network's going to disappear. And then, you know, maybe in like 30 or 40 seconds or so, uh, just give it a shot and try to connect. If I try to do it right now, it's going to, you know, probably time out or not. <laughs> Great. So we have this now. We can so we're connected. The force is on our on my Wi-Fi network, which is great. And so now I want to set a static IP because this number will change every now and again otherwise. And we don't want that. So I'm going to turn automatic DHCP settings for wire connection off. I'm going to turn it for wireless off. And then here, I'm going to put in that same IP address that I was assigned. Um, actually, since let's just pretend you don't want to connect it via a cable, and we'll just go with wireless first. So for the gateway, your gateway is usually going to be the first three octets of your IP address and a 1. You can confirm this. Uh, on a Mac by holding your option key and clicking your Wi-Fi icon and there's your router address right there. Um, I'm going to switch over to Windows in a little bit and I'll show you how to see the uh, the settings over there as well. Your uh, 
broadcast address is usually the same as your router address except the last octet is 255. The name servers are fine. Um, I always like putting my router IP address in there anyway. Um, so yeah, and for your wired IP address, if, you, if you're if you using a, a wired connection, um, you can take the same IP that you were assigned and just add or subtract 1 to it. So I'll just put 73, since the other one is 74. And all of the other values are going to be exactly the same. So dot .1, this is dot .255, and I'm going to paste my same name servers in there, and then click Apply. And again, you could be doing this all from the browser on your phone or your tablet or you know, any smart device, any device with a web browser and a Wi-Fi connection. So my settings have been applied. That's awesome. Um, you want to give the force a little bit of time to you know, do its thing and reboot and whatnot. So I'm going to switch over to my Windows Virtual Machine and launch Chrome. And oops, that's not what I want. I want Catching the force and and mid settings change. Unless I'm putting in the wrong IP. Oh, maybe it's 74. Now, while we're waiting, actually, I can show you uh, how to see your IP settings in Windows. So if you right-click on your uh, network icon in the system tray and click Open Network and Sharing Center, uh, you can get to it from here, but this uh, option, I believe, is the same in Windows 7 and Windows 8. So let's go to it over via the Change Adapter Settings link. And if I right click on the network adapter and click status and then click details, you'll see all these information come up. So you can see this is the address of my Windows VM, but here's your router, uh, your gateway address, and then everything else can be extrapolated from that. And the other way you can see this too is if you right click your start menu and click run and type cmd and type ipconfig and that'll get your gateway address there too. And if for some reason you need more information you can type ipconfig space slash all and that'll bring up uh, just about everything. But now I've got my uh, forces working over here on Windows now. And so there we go. I think we're all done. And you can see, you know, the same settings work over here. Because it all runs through a web browser. So it really doesn't matter what device you're using. Um, just if it has a web browser and a connection to your network, whether that's over wire or Ethernet, it all works. I hope this was helpful, and send me a message if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good night.